Next, the documentary award sponsored by the Malaria Consortium. This award is for the highest standard of documentary or th of 30 minutes or over that has been broadcast in the United Kingdom or screened at festivals or theatrically anywhere in the world. Let's see a clip from each nominated documentary. After the Apocalypse. И нужно предпринимать меры сейчас. И что, без последствий не пройдет. И от того, что мы сейчас построим синому голову в песок зароем, проблема-то не ушла, она осталась. Я поэтому говорю, надо вот посмотреть на эту банку и представьте, что это ваш, у вашего единственного сына или дочери, желанный ребенок, ваш внук. The war you don't see. You know, I didn't really do my job properly. I think I'd hold my hand up and say that one didn't press the most uncomfortable buttons hard enough. As you described the arrival of the Americans, you didn't tell us the story of how that whole statue was itself manipulated. Mm. Why, why not? The entire live cameras of the world's press were on the balcony of the Palestine Hotel. And that was really the only events that they saw about Iraq is coming out. So it was a sort of made for TV moment. Welcome to Lagos. It's incredible what's happened at this dump. 18 years ago, it was just a big hole in the ground. Now it's like a city within the mega city. Everything the scavengers need is here. Shops, restaurants, bars, three cinemas, a mosque, even a barber's. Some people never leave. And you know what's the most amazing thing about it? All this is just a stone's throw away from the state government buildings. And yet most people don't even know it exists. Well, now, the jury felt that after the apocalypse confronted fundamental questions of life and of choice. Through thoughtful filmmaking, it revealed the plight of women yearning for children in an area of Kazakhstan used for nuclear weapons testing during the Soviet era, when one in 20 babies was born with genetic defects. The War You Don't See is the indictment of the media's complicity in the frenzy that accompanies hostilities and was a very strong film with brilliant interviews, uh, appropriate archive and great access. It told a convincing story of how the media failed utterly to speak truth to power. Welcome to Lagos was a fantastic film that offered an extraordinary insight into one of the fastest growing cities in the world, interweaving powerful stories with sympathetic characters, strong narratives. It had humor, technical polish and empathy. Its most exceptional quality was its tone which confounded the typical view of Africa and poverty. The jury also wanted to applaud Surya Samara's powerful expose of homophobia in Africa for Channel 4 Dispatches, titled Africa's Last Taboo. Please welcome Sunil Mira, the Executive Director of Malaria Consortium, to reveal the winner. <laughs> Thank you, John. Uh, probably the biggest achievement is to have somebody from the third world giving the first world award, or the one world award. So that's an achievement. The subject actually is malaria. Uh, I am here actually to make sure we speak about it and you speak about it. It's a disease we can't be quiet about because it does kill a young child every 45 seconds. So that's why we joined this wonderful party and the One World Award. Okay, and the winner of the award, I'm told it's large enough for me to read without my glasses, is uh, Welcome to Lagos.
Thank you very much for this wonderful award. Uh, as many of you will know, there's over a billion people living in slums around the world at the moment. That's a number that they expect will rise to over 2 billion in the next 15 years by 2025. I feel very lucky and privileged to have had the chance to make this film for primetime terrestrial TV. The biggest thank you is to the people of Lagos who welcomed us into their lives, shared everything they had, and became firm friends. And really, this award belongs to them. Thank you. Thank you.